This video is going to be about using your Nano VNA to measure coax loss. So I have a um, length of coax here. I think it's 50 feet if I remember right. I don't, I don't remember, uh, but I think it's about 50 feet. And it is the cheap stuff. It is the RG8X. Um, and so let's, it's got these uh, PL259 connectors on it. So let's measure the, uh, let's assume we're going to put this uh, on the roof to uh, 2 meter and 440 antennas. So we want to know what the loss is at, uh, at 144 megahertz and 440 megahertz. So let's get that going. So we can't plug these onto a VNA because the connector size is wrong. So you'll need to get some adapters. Um, I've got a couple adapters here. I've got PL259 to, uh, to BNC, and then I've got a BNC to SMA. So that'll get me to where I need to go. Don't worry, this is not going to cause any more insertion loss, so don't worry about that. And so I need two of those. And so let me, uh, let me get those connected up, and then um, we'll calibrate the Nano and get it set up. Okay, so we're going to calibrate the Nano. But first we're going to pick uh, which um, frequency bands we want to measure. So we're going to go to stimulus. We're going to say start. We're going to start at 100 megahertz. And we're going to do a stop at 500 megahertz. So we're going to sweep from 100 to 500. So that'll cover the 2 meter band, and the 220, and the 440. It'll cover, it'll cover them all. So that'll be good. And uh, don't worry about, oh, you don't have enough resolution. Now we have plenty of resolution. Um, so let's do a calibration. Uh, let's see, back. Okay, calibration. And we'll do a reset, which clears all the calibration that's in there. And we're going to do, we're going to do a calibrate. Now, um, I don't want to hook up those uh, big, heavy coaxes to these tiny little connectors because it might, it might wrench it. So I'm going to use these uh, uh, wires that are provided with your Nano DNA. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to put those on the, on the two connectors, and we're going to calibrate with those on there. So they're like little extensions. And when we do the calibration, it'll calibrate out any errors that these little, two little wires add. So we're going to calibrate out here, okay? So we're going to use what's supplied, okay? Well, first thing we need to do is an open. Okay, so uh, we're going to use the little uh, through connector that's supplied. We'll put that on there first. And then we're going to go find our open, okay? So here's our open. Remember the O is the open. And we'll put that on here. And then we'll press open. Okay. And we'll find the short, shiny one. Whoa! It's getting away from me. All right. We'll take that one off. Put on the short. And we'll click on short. And we'll do the load. Load. Okay, now isolation. Um, we're going to have it exactly. We haven't touched anything. We still have the load on there and we have this one open. It'd be nice if we had a 50 ohm load to put in here, but that's not supplied. So that's okay. We're going to hit isolation, and that just zeroes out any crosstalk that's in the instrument. It doesn't really have anything to do with measurement type things. It has to do with the noise inside of the machine. And then we're going to do a through, and that's going to tell channel one how to calibrate it itself. And so we're going to take that little, that little through connector and we're going to put it between the two cables. So it looks, sound, it looks like we're shorting out the instrument. We have channel one and channel zero shorted together with this little connector, okay? And we're going to do a through. And then we're going to do done. And let's do a save zero. And now it's all ready to go, okay? Now, we need to display what we want to display to measure uh, coax insertion loss. So we're going to do a display trace. We're going to turn all the traces off. 
And the trace that we want to add, I think, is trace one. Yeah, trace one says channel one log mag. That's what you want, channel one log mag. And um, if we take a look at that, we're getting a straight line right here. What does a straight line mean? The straight line means that there's no um, insertion loss because we have it all calibrated. It says we have a perfect um, lossless system from 100 to 500. We get a straight line. If anything goes lower than that, that's loss, okay? Watch as I unscrew the connector. As I unscrew the connector, you might start to see a little, oh, oh there's, there we go. Let me kind of, kind of hold it in a funny position there. See how the trace is way low? That says there's loss. And when I take the two apart entirely, now the trace is way down here. That says that you're not making any contact at all between those two, okay? All right, so we are ready to measure. We are all set to go. Let me move these calibration stands out of the way so I don't lose them. Keep track of those things. Okay, let me get my coax. And my coax is right over here, right out of camera. Remember, I've got the uh, connectors on them, so I'm going to connect one end to channel zero. And I'm going to connect the other end to channel one, and we should start to see a trace. There we go. Nice. Very good. So now you see that we have a trace, but it's not up to where the reference was. It's down a little bit. We're losing a little bit of signal, okay? And so it's kind of hard to see, but um, it says log mag 10 dB per division. So every one of these lines is 10 dB. So the loss is somewhere between zero and 10 dB. You know, you can say maybe it's four dB. You're not really quite sure where it is, but you can use your marker. And your marker reads out right here. So right here, it's minus 2.47 dB. And so let's take it to, um, let's take it to 440 megahertz. So right here, it says uh, one, that's your marker one. It says your marker is at 440 megahertz. We're going between 100 and 500, but our marker is at 440. And then we can read our dB loss right here, minus, minus 5. So we have a 5 dB loss at, uh, at 440. Now, if you want to increase the scale, we can do that. We can go here to f uh, scale, scale per division. And instead of um, 10 dB, we can do 2 dB per step. And I hit the times one. So now every um, mark is 2 dB. So here we got 2 dB, 4 dB, 5 dB. So you can, you can see that it's a pretty straight line. And that's why you don't need to go crazy about calibration because, you know, what are you calibrating? It's, it's, it's a very gentle slope here. So we could, uh, we could take a look at, so we know it's 5 dB at 440. Let's take a look at 2 meters. 2 meters is around 144 megahertz. And it's minus 2 dB there, 2.2 dB. Um, so there you go. That's how to measure insertion loss of a cable. And if you want to do this for HF bands, you just need to set the start and the stop to whatever you're interested in, calibrate between your start and your stop, and then do the exact same thing again. There you go.